maybe two years ago, I might have said, finally, you know, what I do is art. I, I never really thought of it like that. What I do is, is get attention. That's the fundamental thing that I do when I wake up in the morning. That's why I write songs. You can make music and stay in your basement. No one says you have to put it out there. You, know, you can paint and, and keep it in your house. You, know, you can make films and never show them to anybody. Down another bourbon in the rebel groove. Hard to get a handle on your evolution. A Bible up your ass and your face in the stove. As soon as you're sharing it with other people, I don't think anybody does anything with the motivation of having people go, that sucks, you're stupid, go away. I mean, we, we all want people to go, that was great. I've had a career that I was, next year's my big year, since I was 21. Next year. Hey guys, thanks a lot for coming, thanks for your patience. My name is Jerry Joseph, and it's nice to be in Orlando. In 1995, I uh, started this band called the Jack Mom. Through all of that, and especially over the past 10 years, I started doing um, solo shows. It's a weird thing to get to this age and to still be writing songs, and you know, and suddenly you have a body of work. I probably have stories for every song that I would tell live, but a lot of them are bullshit. Or they don't have anything to do with the song whatsoever, but it gives me something to talk about. You never left me here in the dark here on my own. No matter, I can hear your water rising over. And let me be your last child. And I promise you'll be dry here. There's a song that a band What's for Panic does called the safety. You're the only one that matters to me, baby. You never left me here. I wrote that song literally like with my last 50 bucks worth of heroin in some shithole hotel. And yeah, and I promise you'll be dry. Never be alone. And when they play it in a big stadium, it's like the happy, feel good hit of the fucking 90s. doesn't have much to do with when I originally wrote it. So you don't want to take that away from people. Songs are supposed to be, I think, a little bit more. I mean, on one hand, you write them for yourself, but on the other hand, you're, they're for other people to enjoy. You can only sing so many songs about your dick. I've always been amazed when, when people make shitty records. I want people to pay attention to me. That's why I'm standing up there looking like an asshole in the first place. It's like, look at me, look at you know. A ton of pie senses I tend to start a song and finish it that day. I never do a rewrite. I never go back and fix lyrics. Fire, fire in your heart. 
then I'm also not one of those people that walks around with my guitar. And I'm just always thinking of a song. I'm not that guy. I was on a solo tour and we were in Zurich. There's a church there where they had commissioned Chagall to do five stained glass windows. And one of them is called the Jacob Ladder. The biblical Jacob in the desert, another one of those 40 days in the desert hallucinating, sees a ladder go up into heaven. I write titles. It's as much as I get as far as taking notes. And um, so I'll, you know, I'll write the Jacob Ladder. I got a million great excuses. I get bogged down with trying to finish something over the course of a couple weeks, I lose it. I don't record the songwriting process. I don't have a dictaphone. If I think about it late at night and I'm drunk and I don't have the wherewithal to start it, if I wake up in the morning, I can still remember the idea that I usually figure it was probably good enough to pursue. My baby, she see Jacob in the glass of Switzerland. She's climbing up the ramparts. I'm him If I stick to that songwriting process, it's because I'm lazy. I think of all these different approaches, like, you know, I'm gonna sit down and really learn how to, you know, run a computer and write songs like that. I never do, like, it always ends up me and acoustic guitar and a bunch of coffee and two packs of cigarettes and about 11 in the morning. And that's usually when I write my best stuff. Thank you. I can't imagine what it would be like to be a big rock star. I never had a major label deal, you know, I've never had a radio single. If I've played big places, it's either as a guest of somebody or opening for somebody. But I think when you're making records sometimes, in the back of my head, I, oh man, this would sound so great on the radio, or, you know, I, I, I want them to be that good, or I want to have things that would maybe have more mass appeal. I'm always kind of second-guessing myself. I'll write something and I'll be like, fuck, man, I'm fucking brilliant. Honey, come in here and listen to how brilliant I am, you know? By, by the end of the day, I'm like, you know, the same loser I was the day before, whether I wrote the song or not. Now when she cries through the darkness She knows she's not in there I would like to think that kids are always going to want something that makes their parents mad. 16 year old kids, you know, they want to get high, they want to get laid, and they, there needs to be something for the soundtrack. My son, you know, he, he goes, Dad, do you want to hear what we're working on? Because you know, now everybody can make a record which is pretty cool. That's why I don't think rock and roll is dead, or will ever be dead, just for that. Just for his ability to be able to do that and look at my reaction. That's never gonna die. And I will hold you here forever, darling. Yes, I will, here in my secret, here in my secret. Yeah.